What's up, gamers? Welcome to another episode of Street Fighter V? No, it's Seven Nights, of course. Uh, basically, uh, we actually have a collaboration with Street Fighter characters this time. Ryu, of course, being one of them. I'm very, very excited that they did this. Uh, it's always good when Seven Nights does a collaboration, and I have to be honest, they did it right this time. And I'll kind of explain why. With the other two collaborations, you basically had to pay 300 rubies. You would get like 10, ran 10 random summons and you get one random hero of whatever it was. At the time it was either Blaze Blue or uh, Guilty Gear. But you were not guaranteed the one you wanted specifically. You were just guaranteed to get one of them randomly. And of course you paid 300 rubies for it, which is kind of expensive. Well, they did it a lot better this time. Because honestly, I thought that was kind of crappy. Because if you wanted to get one at level 40... Uh, you had to spend an unknown amount of thousands of rubies to get there. In this case, if you click on the Street Fighter V emblem, you can buy them straight up for 200 rubies. You don't have to worry about getting randoms or anything like that. You get the hero, and you get the hero at 5 stars. Whereas in the other ones, you got a random one at 4 stars for a lot more. So this is a lot better. So glad that they did this. Uh, as far as recommendations are concerned, uh, if you're a huge fan of Raid... Karen is your absolute go-to. Uh, she's probably going to be the best raid hero ever. She's basically a DPSer. She protects against burn and stun, which are the two things that the dragon does. Um, it, it's There's just nothing better than her. And I actually did just get her to level 40. It took me about three days to do it. Um, grinding for rubies and whatnot. I didn't spend money to do all this. Uh, so, you know, I actually took the time and grinded for a while. I had a three-day weekend, so it worked out. Now, if you want to do PvP, I would recommend Akuma. Uh, basically, he has the same ability as Lee, where he can put someone down to one using his Raging Demon, which makes sense. Uh, so if you want to get, if you don't want to do the whole Awakening with Lee, uh, you can definitely just pull Akuma six times, and boom, there you go. So what we're going to do today is we're actually going to showcase the raid using Karen, and this is actually going to be my first attempt ever. Uh, and I, unfortunately, I don't have a level 99 uh, that I can attack, so I'll attack the highest level leveled one that I can, and we'll see how good she does. Now, of course, uh, you're about to see my formations. Uh, I got Karen in the back row doing damage with Shane. Ideally, you want to do the four in the front, one in the back type thing, so that that one person can deal a ton of damage. I personally prefer this since I have a lot of good DPSers because you, you want Shane, she's obviously the best at DPSing. You want Jupy, you want Delon, those are also the best. Uh, so I have basically the top four heroes maxed out in levels as far as, you know, doing DPS in the game for Raid. So we're going to see what happens. Alright, so let's make this happen. The strat here is to have Lita start off with the boost for everyone's attack damage. I hit with Shane. Hit with Karen. Hit with Karen one more time. Hit with Shane. So notice we haven't been burned at all, we haven't been stunned at all. That's all thanks to Karen alone. She is that good.
Obliterate. Every time I hear that, I just I just think of the whole Exodia thing. Exodia, obliterate. I am being quiet on purpose here and there just so you can kind of hear some of the voice acting because it is kind of cool. Look at that damage by the way. Oh, we actually lost some money. The only thing that really sucks about a spotter dying right there is the fact that I've now lost my uh, magic defensive boost because the dragon does deal only magical damage. So. I'm assuming that that ability right there does actually work on him to where uh, basically damage that dealt to him is increased. That's why I actually have him in the party. Oh, she finally died. But I was able to deal over 200,000 damage against a level 46 with her on the team, so that's pretty solid. Probably not going to kill this dragon though, not by myself at least. But this was a pretty good showcase, and this more or less shows that Karen is fantastic. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and keep recording for the second group. I kind of want to give you guys kind of an idea of what strats you want to use if you're trying to uh, do well against the raids. But yeah, I would like someone to kind of let me know if the Lunar Slash ability actually does work on the dragon. And if it doesn't, then I will have to make an, an adjustment. Um, but uh, I am kind of curious to know that. And now Team 2 is here. I have Ramlethal from Guilty Gear preventing stun. I have uh, Yui pre preventing burn, and she's my healer. Anytime you can find someone that's a twofer, uh, that's definitely good. Uh, I have Velikia for the magic defense. Uh, and then, of course, you know, Delans and Jupy are the DPSers. 
And when you awaken her, she deals a ton more damage. It is such a beautiful thing. I meant to hold off on that, but oh well. That's how much damage she'll do. Twenty-one K, not bad. Now keep in mind, if I was doing the 4-1 or the defensive formation, clearly whoever's in the back would deal a ton more damage. Cease to exist. I think 6,000 for just regular hits is pretty strong. Now that did like mediocre damage, but I didn't have any other skills to do at the moment. And every time you have an opportunity to heal with you, go ahead and do so. Especially up against like a high level dragon. Almost at a 500k mark for damage. Alright, so when Jupy's uh, meters go back to normal, just do the top ability and everything will go back to the way it should be. Now, when you tap that first ability, if you don't tap on another ability, she, a lot of times, if there's no other actors from the enemy, she'll automatically go to another ability. So that's kind of cool too. As for Jupy, of course. Cease to exist. Meet your end. That's not gonna do any damage or much damage. Yeah. <laughs> Well, will be able to do at least 50% of his total damage in this fight. So if anybody ends up finishing it off, I'll clearly get the number one MVP for damage. Eventually, oh crap. <laughs> Eventually I'm going to start losing people. And there you go, it just happened. I was actually going to say eventually I'm going to get stunned, but uh, it hasn't quite happened yet. Because I think Ramathal only stops it for three or four turns. I don't really remember. But it's enough turns. But not bad, none the least. And we're not getting burned because Yui, even though Yui's dead, her effect still uh, stays active. It's active as long as she started on the team. Sam Ranopal were to have died earlier, her ability would have still carried on.
Now, if you don't have either Valikia or Espada, or if you don't have both of them, another good replacement, I think, is Naya and Bolt. I think they also uh, increase defense for the team. So you could use him instead if you don't have Espada and Valikia you know, for each of your teams. Um, I'm not sure there's any other good replacements in terms of defense. Uh, the four DPSs that I told you are probably your staples. Uh, Karen, Dellens, um, Shane, and Jupy. Those are pretty much your best as far as DPS. Now, if you do the 4-1, you only need two, but I do the two DPS fight uh, formation, so. But there you go, 643,000 damage to a level 46, I believe it was. Let's just confirm. Yeah, level 46, so, uh, and its max was, I think, 1.22 million, so I'm pretty much, yeah, I'm going to get MVP no matter what, because it only has about 580k remaining health, so that's a thing. But there you have it, you have now seen uh, what Karen can do. Um, I haven't done the 4-1 scenario just because I'm not a huge fan of it, and especially when you have multiple DPSs, and if the one DPS or dies, and you're kind of screwed. So, give you another option. Uh, but the 4 1 formation for defense and raid is typically recommended, and if you do it, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, you'll notice that your Jupy or Karen or whoever you use will do a lot more damage. Um, and I can tell you right now, Karen is probably better than Jam. Uh, if you still have Jam, still use her over, like, maybe Shane, or, or if, if you don't have Downs or whatever. Uh, you know, if you still have a level 40 Jam, which a lot of people don't have it, but if you do have one, uh, you could still use her too. She's still fantastic. But anyone who doesn't have her to 40, you'll never get her to 40 again. So don't even waste your time and just, you know, use one of the rest. And that's going to go ahead and conclude the video. And uh, yes, it has been a while, but uh, I will be still making videos off and on here. You guys take it easy. OG Krungsta, signing out.